Now we can calculate gain by using formula B out is equal to RB by RA times B2 minus B1. Here RB by RA is gain and its value is equal to 4.680. In order to achieve gain of 4.680 value of resistor RB that is feedback must be 4.680 times value of resistor RA that is input resistor. While choosing the value of resistor RA and RB we have to consider few things that is the ratio of resistor RB and RA need to be as close to 4.68 as possible. Similarly, higher value of resistor increase noise and decrease power consumption. From above table, we conclude that on increasing the value of resistance, power consumption decrease but noise increase. Similarly, on decreasing value of resistance, power consumption increase but noise decrease. Here also we have to do trade off between noise and power consumption. We can use any combination according to a requirement. But here I am choosing second combination that is input resistance is equal to 10k and feedback resistance is equal to 46.8k. Noise is considerable lower than third combination and power consumption is considerable lower than first combination. So for this prototype, second combination is perfect. Now the output of this differential amplifier is given to analog pin Arduino A0 through a CD resistor, high value resistor and one capacitor which act here as low pass filter in order to filter out noise if available. Now Arduino read the voltage division and convert it into temperature using equation and display it over LCD. The LCD is connected to Arduino in higher order data mode that is only higher data bit of LCD D4 to D7 is connected to Arduino. The output of differential amplifier is given to analog pin A0. In this video, I am not going to show you how to interface 16 LCD with Arduino because previously we had already made detailed tutorial on how to interface 16 LCD with Arduino. For that, please check the link in description section. If you have any confusion while connecting Citroen 2 LCD with Arduino Nano. Now combine all these seven of section. Your circuit become ready. Now let's see the component list of measuring temperature using PT100 and Arduino. Each resistor used here is of quarter watt that is 1 by 4 watt carbon composition plus minus 5% tolerance. The value of resistor are given below as R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm, R2, R5 and R6 is equal to 47 kilo ohm, R3 and R4 is equal to 10 kilo ohm, R7 is equal to 220 kilo ohm, R8 is equal to 330 ohm and two variable resistor each of 10 kilo ohm is used here. If we talk about capacitor, two capacitor, one of electrolytic type 100 microfarad 16 volt and another is of disc type. 100 nanofarad ceramic disc. As you can see here, single quad operational amplifier is utilized here, that is LM324IC. Operational amplifier is used here. One PT100 temperature sensor, one Arduino Nano or equivalent, or you, you can use any Arduino family like uh, Arduino Uno, Mega, etc., and one 62 alphanumeric display. Connect all the components as shown in circuit diagram. It's time to see the software part, but before that we have to do few calculations like how to convert voltage into resistance and how to convert that resistance into temperature and its calibration. So at first let's see how to convert voltage into resistance. As you all know that Arduino read the voltage from differential amplifier in division form that is 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 1023. The voltage read by Arduino is first converted into resistance using equation of a straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c. Here we have to calculate the value of slope m and constant c. Now for slope we have to measure voltage and resistance at two different temperature let's say at 30 degrees celsius and 150 degrees celsius. You can measure voltage and resistance at any two different temperature. It is not compulsion that you have to also measure resistance and voltage at 30 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius. It depends upon your compatibility. Let's say at temperature T1 that is 30 degrees Celsius, 
VT1 is equal to 0.09 voltage. And if you see the data sheet at 30 degrees Celsius, then it have or it offer 111.2 ohm. Similarly, at temperature 150 degrees Celsius, the voltage it offer is of 1.1 volt. As we are using 1.1 volt internal ADC, and our maximum measuring temperature is of 150 degrees Celsius. Now, temp resistance at this temperature, according to data sheet, is 160 ohm. Now by using the formula for slope that is m is equal to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 we can calculate the value of m that is slope. If we take x axis as voltage and y axis as resistance then x1 is equal to 0.09 voltage and x2 is equal to 1.1 volt. Similarly y1 is equal to 160 ohm and y2 is equal to 111.2 ohm. If we put all this value in equation of slope then we get 48.31 that is value of slope of Vm is equal to 48.31. Now by putting the value of m that is slope in equation y is equal to mx plus c we get value of constant. So at 150 degrees Celsius resistance is equal to 160 ohm that is resistance offered by PT100 is equal to 160 ohm and V out is equal to 1.1 volt. Therefore, constant can be calculated as 106.852. Further, we also need the value of alpha. Now from data sheet, we get value of alpha that is 0 0.00385. So from above calculation, we get slope is equal to 48.31, constant C is equal to 106.852, resistance at 0 degree Celsius is equal to 100 ohm and alpha is equal to 0 0.00385. The software part is very simple. Here in the software we are using two header file. One for liquid crystal and another is for time update that is timer.h. After header file you will see different type of variable that is volt, temperature in degree Celsius, temperature in Fahrenheit that is temp f, temp 1 that is temperature before calibration, calibration and resistance of PT100 that is Rx. After that we had defined few constant that is R0 that is resistance of PT100 at 0 degree Celsius is equal to 100 and value of alpha that is 0 0.00385. Here the output of differential amplifier that is of sensor is connected to analog pin A0 of Arduino Nano. So we have to assign pin as input b in is equal to a0 that we had see the pin definition for lcd connection and after that define time object if we see the setup function at first we had begin the serial monitoring at 9600 baud rate and lcd begin after that b in pin is declared as input now these two line t dot every hundred tick reading and analog reference internal might be new for you. First syntax that is t dot every hundred taking reading take reading of sensor in every hundred millisecond and analog reference internal set the internal reference of Arduino to 1.1 volt. Now if you see the loop function, there you can see only one function is called that is t dot update. This function take reading in every 100 millisecond by calling the function take reading now if we see the first syntax of function boy take reading that is volt is equal to analog read b in divided by 1023 into 1.1 .1. here 1.1 .1 refer to 1.1 volt internal reference and 1023 refers to 10 bit output of voltage now this first syntax convert the bits into voltage and display our LCD. After that this volts is converted to resistance using formula Rx is equal to volt into slope plus C that is Y is equal to MX plus C. As we had already calculated the value of slope and constant C. After that this value is display over LCD. We can convert this resistance into temperature that is temp1 is equal to rx by r0 minus 1.0 whole divided by alpha. This formula is also taken from data sheet. Now after that we have to calibrate this temperature. 
calibration we are using formula is equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.005 into temp 1 this is tolerance for class B PT 100 now final temperature that is temp C in degree Celsius is equal to temp 1 minus calibration this is the final temperature in Celsius also convert this Celsius to Fahrenheit by using formula temp F is equal to temp C into 1.8 plus 32 this is the final temperature in Fahrenheit after that we had display all this value of our LCD now let's see the output of the circuit as you can see the output our temperature is fluctuating this is due to temporary connection if you solder this all component over any PCB then output would be stable let's increase the temperature of this PT sensor as you can see the temperature is increasing drastically fast let me cool down this as you can see the temperature is decreasing drastically fast due to the cooling in this way you can adjust or you can make your own temperature thermometer using PT100 and Arduino thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of various other interesting projects.